Pedro Neto is the new Arsenal's priority target for now as we are left with just 10, 11 days to end the transfer window. Remember, it's closing on 1st of September and obviously when you're counting the days enough for you, 9 days left to come to the end of this month and obviously that one day to make it 10 days, 1 week and 3 days left and Arsenal are in for Pedro Neto. And remember, the story has been all around here. People have always been breaking these stories but they are not tier 1 years journalists but right now today we are having confirmation from david austin and fabricio romano letting us know that obviously pedro neto is one of those signings that arsenal has made a priority target before this window comes to an end then pino who was so much in the news is off obviously i'm going to give you the reason and then i have a very big update about bokayo saka and how he has been able to help arsenal in the previous 45 games that has been playing for Arsenal in here for you. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you are watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to be certain stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now, I've always told you that Arsenal, Arsenal <laughs> needs a player to play with Bukayo Saka onto that side because Bukayo Saka looks like He's confident that this position is his. He needs a player to come in through and really put some pressure on him such that he really gates up his game or ups his game to the levels that he has never even played at. And that player has been identified now as Pedro Neto. Pedro Neto plays as a left and right winger for 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 Wolverhampton Wanderers and obviously he has been one of those players that Mikel Arteta had on his list. Arsenal really had a big list of very many big players that play on the right attacking side of the midfield, some of them with the right foot and others with a left foot. But probably sorry, but Mikel Arteta wanted a player who plays with a left foot onto that right side. And obviously, with time going out and running out, you don't want to go in and bring in a player who is not Premier League proven because he might struggle to fit in your team. But if I totally bring in a Premier League proven player like, like Pedro Neto, obviously he's one of those players that will come in through and really get you to the levels that you really want to be at the side which goes by names of Arsenal in there for you. Now, today in the morning, David Austin said that Arsenal's top target at, at present is Pedro Neto of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Talks are said to have been taking place for more than a month while the interest from Arsenal is concrete and anonymous. Wolves do not want to sell the player this summer. Obviously, obviously, he's saying that, but obviously, we ran a story coming in from Fabrizio Romano, I think, when they signed Guedes because a tweet came out like two days back that a club in La in England has gone ahead to agree a deal with Guedes from Valencia. And Guedes plays as a center forward and a winger. And what came to the minds of many of us? We really thought that, oh, it looked to be Arsenal. But obviously, it came to our, our knowing by Fabrizio Romano that the player is going to Wolverhampton Wanderers. And he told us that when Guedes joins Wolves, then the deal of Pedro Neto will be on and they'll be willing to sell this player by the end of this summer. And obviously, I really believe that they've already brought in a replacement and I really believe that even Pedro Neto wants him to go to Arsenal. David Austin says they don't want to sell him, but it looks like they've already prepared his departure by bringing on a player who can replace him. Then we've, we've gone ahead, we've gone ahead to be told by David Austin that central to the dialogue between Arsenal and Wolves for Pedro Neto is the intermedi intermediary George Mendes who represents Neto and closely linked to operations at Molinex. Conversations so far have involved Mendes liaising with Arsenal and Wolves separately in their voice. So Pedro Neto to Arsenal deal. There is an intermediary who goes by names of Mendes. Mendes is the agent of Ronaldo if I told you never knew and he has sold very many Portuguese players to 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 Wolverhampton Wanderers and secondly many agents in Portugal all do have their clients in Portugal use him because he has the experience to go in and negotiate better deals for the players even Doen Nunes when he's coming in from Portugal to come to play for Liverpool Doen sorry 
George Mendes was the intermediary in between this deal. He's not the agent, but he's good at really making those negotiations for a side which calls by the names of Portugal players. Even Bruno Fernandes, when he's coming to Manchester United, he was the man masterminding those those talks between United and the agent because he knew that they know that he can really get a better deal for the player and what this is what he's doing now for Pedro Neto. But let's wait and see what is going to happen. But mere having talks shows you that there is a signal that this deal is going to happen and it has been agreed in the for you and there is there is green light at the end of the tunnel. David Austin continued to let us know that it's unlikely Arsenal will be able to spend extranantally and are conscious of FFP. It's unclear what level of finance it might take for Wolves to contemplate letting Neto depart. Discussions are outgoing as Arsenal explore whether a deal could be achievable in there for you. So discussions are, are going on between between Arsenal and Arsenal really exploring this to let us know what it's all about in here at the side which goes by names of Rokani Media Football. So it looks like this deal is totally on and Arsenal is really wanting to gate this deal happening. And guys, I will believe that Pedro Neto will see this as an upgrade and he won't really say no to a side which goes by names of Arsenal because there is something I really read that show that he's really a person who supports a side which goes by names of Arsenal and has been supporting Arsenal for so long in their in there for you and again Fabrizio Romano again also came out and confirmed to us the following that <clears throat> he told us that on Pedro Neto at the moment the stance of Wolves is very hope is they hope to keep the player and they're asking for important money I think more than 50 million pounds let's see what Arsenal will decide but for sure he's one of the player they are targeting obviously David Austin confirming the news, Fabrizio Romano confirming the news or adding his word to the news. So it looks like it's going to go on and it's going to happen in the for you. Then Fabrizio told us again for Pedro Neto, it's true he's the priority. He's a player super appreciated by Edu and Mikel Ateta. They consider him a perfect player for the idea of the club they're having, the club they're having. It was already discussed internally. Let's see what happens in the for you. He, he was at the... Q Gozalo podcast on Twitter in there for you. Sorry, on Insta, on YouTube. So, as things stand, obviously, Pedro Neto is wanted by Arsenal and they want to bring him at Arsenal. The first target was Rafinha and it shows you what Mikel Arteta really wants. He wants a left-footed player to play as a wide winger. Sorry, as a right winger in there for you, but inverted. So, Pedro Neto brings a lot to Arsenal. His space, his skill, his set of skills is really immense. I saw him I saw him yesterday. No, it was Saturday, the early game, when when Wolverhampton Wanderers was playing Spurs. He was he was played as a right wing back because Wolves played with a 3-5-2 system. He was played as a right wing back. Means that he has the energy he has the engine that can operate onto that side. But at Arsenal, it's going to be a different phase altogether because he doesn't play. He won't be played like that. Arsenal don't play with the back three. Arsenal play with the back four, meaning that he's going to play as a left, sorry, a right, a right winger. And the good thing with Pedro Neto is that he can also play well as a left winger in the for you. So we've rarely seen Bukayo Saka making changes or interchanging with either Emily Smith Rowe or Bukayo Saka, you get sorry, all Martinelli because you need to be having these wingers when they're dynamic. Um, Emily Smith Rowe is dynamic, uh, Martinelli is dynamic, but Bukayo Saka is not dynamic because you rarely see him play off that left side of the attack midfield. You get, but we have Pedro Neto playing off the right as the attack midfielder with Martinelli playing on the left they can interchange and we need to see those interchanges coming in through because Pedro Neto gives you that. He can play well on the left attacking side of the midfield and he can play well on the right attacking side of the midfield. And Pedro Neto would love this more reason being if you come to Arsenal, obviously game time is going to be there because Bukayo Saka has been playing 90 minutes, 90 minutes game in, game out. He needs to be rested and some games are going to be started by Pedro Neto, obviously, because there is no manager who can bench 
who can bench a player who is who is going to cost them 50 million pounds and secondly this is a deal that Arsenal has to do to really indicate to Bukayosaka that it's high time you made a decision of whether you are extending your contract that we have given you on the table or not you get and they are preparing even for the post Bukayosaka era because Bukayosaka might make a decision that I'm going to Liverpool I'm going to Man City you get well I'm going to Chelsea so Arsenal is trying to really let Bukayosaka know that we can bring in someone else who can really do your job even better because talent wise Pedro Neto is better you get everything that Bukayo Saka does, Pedro Neto does it better than him. If it's the energy and tracking back, he does it better than him. If it's pace, it's better than him. If it's passing and dribbling towards the defenders, he does it better. His cross is perfect, and I know he's going to score very many goals for Arsenal. Secondly, driving the ball to those defenders. He's really great. You get? So, he has the spark, and he always puts the shift in, and I really believe that Arsenal are really here to put pressure on Bukayo Saka. You get? Because Mikel Ateta told the, told the board by the end of the last season that really I was short by players. This time round, I want two players in every number. I want a 22 fully fit man squad. And obviously, they've tried to go on and do that. But the only positions left are three. The left-footed defender to deputize Gabriel Magales. Then a central midfielder and a right attacking winger who is left-footed to go in and really tussle it out with with the player who goes by the names of <coughs> sorry about that with the player who goes by the names of with the player who goes by the names of Bukayo Saka so to me Pedro Neto is a good addition to Arsenal and obviously with that addition it it sends a message to everyone who has not been really taking Arsenal for, who has been not taking Arsenal serious. That signing, if it happens, it's a serious signing that Arsenal has done. And obviously, we've been told again by another journalist because we know we are here to report news and give you what we think is right or wrong. This journalist goes by the name of Daniel Katz. He has told us that Arsenal have held initial talks over a move for Pedro Neto with Mikel Ateta, a huge fan of the player. Arsenal want to pay £35 million while Wolverhampton Wanderers want £50 million. This is the third journalist telling us the same amount of fee. Even TalkSport has told us that Wolves are demanding a fee of £50 million for Pedro Neto. Arsenal hope to sign the winger. So, another journalist. These are five journalists confirming the price that Wolves want £50 million. Now, when you hear that a team wants that amount of money, meaning that they are ready to sell. So, the big question was, is Wolverhampton Wanderers willing to sell the player? Obviously, they are willing to sell the player. That's why they're demanding for £50 million. And Arsenal is really offering 35 But I know Arsenal still has the money, as confirmed to us by Fabrizio Romano, that the £60 million they are willing to spend on Rafinha is still around. It's still around. So I think this deal might, might cost... 45 million pounds and then some add-ons to really make it 50 million pounds for Wolves in the foyer because they've already brought in another player to come in and really play for side which goes by the names of Wolverhampton Wanderers at Molyonex in their foyer. So that is the story of Pedro Neto and what I have lastly about it is this that is going to excite very many Arsenal fans all over the world. Obviously, did you know that Pedro Neto supports Arsenal? <laughs> did you know that he supports Arsenal? So, do you know what it means when a team like Arsenal that you support right now is wanting to sign you and it's leading the table and looking to be having one of the most exciting projects in the league? Do you know what that means? It means Pedro Neto obviously has to move to Arsenal and obviously Arsenal targeting him knowing that obviously he's coming to us because we are doing better. Trust me, right now Arsenal will bring in a player because every player would like to be playing for Arsenal because the way they are playing, the intensity, the plan, the partners, the, the patterns, the sequences, the relationship between the players are really immense. And it's really, and it's really, it's really a young squad that is going to excite every young player outside there. So in, war, in 2020, when Pedro Neto signed for Wolves, he told us that when I was a kid, my favorite team in England was Arsenal. With Arsene Wenger, beside winning trophies, I thought they played really good football. Have you heard it, Arsenal fans? This man supports you. Pedro Neto supports you and he really loves you a lot. So he's a supporter of the Arsenal team and... Obviously, I know he's going to come because he has been supporting you for years when he was young. And you know, 
our minds don't change a lot according to the things we really had love for and had favoritism for. So this guy has been supporting Arsenal for a very long time. Now, this is the deal that really led to Arsenal focusing to a man who goes by Benzo Pedro Neto. Now, remember, all the days, all the past one month, Jeremy Pino has been one of those signings, all those targets that Arsenal has already been linked to in the media and we've seen we've seen a duo cross the side which goes by names of Villarreal a lot to discuss a deal of Jeremy Pino to Arsenal and it was said that it's Liverpool and Arsenal in for this player but obviously yesterday if at all you watched that game of Atletico Madrid this guy really went ahead to score the first goal but he really got an injury and we've been to that this was reported by Xavi Sidro that Jeremy Pino has reportedly suffered a calf constructure tightness in the muscle during the Real's to win against Atletico Madrid in which he scored the first goal obviously he looked very good and if at all he never got an injury you wouldn't have had this that Pedro Neto is linked to Arsenal but obviously Pedro Neto is linked to Arsenal because Jeremy Pino, their primary target, has really gone ahead to get an injury. And there is no way you can convince a manager like Mikel Arteta or Edu Amidist, having agreed all personal terms and everything with the player and his agents, that this is okay in the foy. So they are off this deal of, of, Ye, of Jeremy Pino and they are going in for Pedro Neto. To me, I call it a blessing in disguise for Arsenal. One, you don't know whether Pedro Neto, so you don't know whether Jeremy Pino would have come onto the Premier League and hit the ground running. He's not used to the Premier League, though stats for players who come in from Spain and come to the Premier League really are high, or have high chances of really progressing on the pitch. It doesn't really, it doesn't really give you guarantee because there are those that have come in through and flopped. Morata flopped. You get? Very many players have come in from Spain and flopped, but obviously, and obviously, there is a very high percentage of players from Spain that have come in here and we thrived and hit the ground running. So, it's a blessing, this guys, for Arsenal. Pedro Neto is Premier League proven. There is no, there is no new, there is no new situation. He's going to be exposed to well at Arsenal, apart from really playing for a team that is going to be having more of the ball every time they are playing on the field of play. So, I think. This side is really great, and obviously we expect lots of things to happen between Neto and Arsenal. So, Jeremy Pino getting an injury, it has really gotten him out of the move to join Arsenal, and I know his agents are really so much worried right about now. But the good thing is that the guy is 19 years of age. What he has to do is that, go on, have a very good, good season. You get, if at all you play some good games and you recover quickly, you can go to the World Cup and play for England, sorry, and play for Spain, and that can raise your market and see you get another good move. The good thing is that even Liverpool is interested in him, meaning that there is no way Arsenal is going to go in for him again because they'll be having two players that play that position, Bukayo Saka and Pedro Neto. So that means teams like Liverpool, Manchester United, maybe a Chelsea will go in and do the needful to go ahead and really give this guy the best that he deserves with a transfer to the English Premier League. Remember, it attracts lots of players. That is the English Premier League. Now, leaving that at that, <coughs> a man who was on fire last season for Arsenal this season, he really looks not all that sharp because no, he has one assist, mm, no goal so far, and he's looking he, he's looking like he's struggling then. We've been told by Harvey Dowens, Football Data, editor of Opta Joe, he has told us that Bukayo Saka, has appeared in each of Arsenal's last 45 Premier League matches since being a new substitute against Newcastle in May 2021. It shows you that this guy has a big engine with him. That is Bokayo Saka, and obviously he is putting up performances that no one thought he could put up. First and foremost, he's not an injury-prone player. That confirms to you that Bokayo Saka is not an injury-prone player. Even when he gets an injury, he recovers back immediately. That's why he has gone ahead to put up the start. That he has appeared in each of Arsenal's 45 Premier League matches since May 2021. He has been playing for Arsenal. He has been representing. That's why Arsenal have a very huge offer on the contract. It's rumored that they are giving him a contract where he's going to be earning 
250,000 pounds a week. That is Bukayo Saka. And obviously, Arsenal don't want to lose an English brand like Bukayo Saka because he's loved, one of the most loved players by the fans of Arsenal everywhere. And even kids love him a lot from all over the world. If I told you, you saw that American tour of Arsenal, you saw how kids came in calling his name and wearing his jerseys. It shows you how good this player is for Arsenal. I really believe that if there is something that you have to be knowing about a team which goes by names of Arsenal, it's the decision they took with the manager, Mikel Ateta, to go on and keep the fire burning and not lose faith in him. So, this is what we call the product or the payout of having faith in someone. So they had faith in Mikel Ateta and obviously he really paid off. And obviously when you look at what is happening at the side which goes by the names of Manchester United, sorry, Arsenal, it's really a very good project. Right now they're on top of the table, three games played. If I told you adding Pedro Neto, it's really going to be a very good addition. Adding Tillemans because I'm going to do another story after this one around three, four hours from now about Yuri Tillemans that Arsenal is going to submit their second bid to Leicester City next week. You get next week, that is towards the end of the transfer window. And that shows you how good Arsenal is. And everything they are doing, it's on the plan. They're not like Manchester United. You're seeing Manchester United right now going ahead to splash money left, right and centre to bring in players. But that's off the plan. But the good thing is for Arsenal, even if they buy a player, 40, 50, 60 million pounds, this player was on the plan. Pedro Neto, Jeremy Pino were on the list of Rafinha, Pedro Neto, Jeremy Pino, uh, Huffy Bands, Gerard Bowen, mm, Zegrova, Calmson Odoi, uh, Lucas Paqueta, Riroy Sen. You get all those players, close to 10 players, were listed by Arsenal and they only wanted one to come in and really compete with Bukayo Saka. So kudos to Arsenal. Thank you for doing things on plan because everything you do things on plan, you don't mess. You don't make any mistake, guys. Thank you guys for watching in. Feel free to go in the comment section. Tell me what you think about Pedro Neto, the new Arsenal target in there for you. Then Yerem Pino deal off. Tell me what you think about it. And Bokayo Saka playing every game since May 21st last year for Arsenal. Those are 45 games. He has taken part in every game. So guys, smash the like button, comment and share. Endeavor guys to subscribe to this channel because we are left with, is it 200 people to hit 6,000 subscribers? Guys, endeavor to go into the right bottom corner and subscribe to this channel because this is what we are all about. This is Rokani Media Football. I go by the names of Rokan David. And you know there is a big game in there for you, Man United versus Liverpool. But we pray hard that the demonstrations at Old Trafford don't really lead this game to a call-off. Last time, it was called off. This time round, let's wait and see what is going to happen. Casemiro is expected to have returned back to Manchester. Remember, he came in on Saturday. He did his medical pass. It flew back to, to Spain where he was really... Farewell by the team of Real Madrid and obviously, and obviously, he has to get back to be part of that unveiling as United plays Liverpool at Old Trafford, that is today. So guys, that's the update. If I told you if you want to watch news concerning Manchester United, search for a channel known as United Matters Channel. That's where you find me doing United. But here, we do Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City and all of the teams apart from Manchester United. But for United, it's a separate channel outside there known as United Matters Channel. I sign out for now. See you later. Second store of the day. More is yet to come onto the Rokani Media Football. Back with the Tillemans. Big story. Second bid. Arsenal is preparing and it's going to be undeniable. Trust me. This time around because Leicester City has chosen to go in and sign a player who goes by the names of James Gunner from Manchester United as a replacement for Yuri Tillemans. I'm out.